Welcome to a brief introduction to my 1893 Salverson. This is the, a very rare machine because it was in 1893, uh, it was a coal-fired, iron-tired steam car, which in 1893 was the very last of, the, of its generation uh, before the petrol engine caught on. Um, it was made by Henry Salverson in Scotland, son of Christian Salverson. He made it at the Salverson shipyards in Grainsmouth. It has had four owners, unbelievably, from new. It's very original. It was it lay untouched, pretty much untouched, through two museums until 2004, and then 2004 it had John Bryden's owner and then myself. So it's it's a completely original machine. It had an unfortunate coat of rather awful yellow paint in the 1960s, but apart from that, it's, had, it's never been dismantled for restoration. Uh, briefly, this is the front end. This is where you sit, the driver sits. So here we have, this is the driver sits. It takes five or six passengers. We've got tiller steering, which is an 1896 improvement because Ackerman steering was brand new in its day. We've got a, a Stevenson's reverser, which reverses the rotation of the engine, which gives you both reverse gear and also brakes. And you've got a regulator, which, which, which literally regulates the amount of steam into the engine. And you've got two gears, slow and very slow. So that, you're two gears, forwards and reverse. Around the back, completely original bodywork. Just set that going again. Full electric front axle, candle lamps, uh, which again were a standard its day. You've got a big flywheel which you need because the engine goes in both directions. Chain drive, fabulous, fabulous original block chain, two inch pitched block chain. Iron tires at the back. At the back of the machine, we've got the heart of it, which is the which is the boiler. It's a coal-fired boiler. Coal-fired boiler, standard for 1893. It was built for the car. It's the original boiler. The original foot plate. It runs 160 psi on average. We've got a. a we can clean the, the tubes out. We've got a. Just in case we manage to stop going up, we've also got a hand pump. This is a sight gauge, tells you how much water is in the tank. 40 gallons in the tank, 15 gallons in the boiler. And last but not least, we have a handbrake, which is only really any good at stopping it moving if it's not moving in the first place. <laughs> it's a magnificent example of a completely original, iron-tired, coal-fired Victorian machine that was designed before the petrol engine was even invented.